Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, and welcome to the BaileyWiki channel, where we teach everyday DMs how to create truly amazing experiences for their players by combining art and technology. If you're a DM who likes to wow your players and you're using platforms like Foundry Virtual Tabletop and Dungeon Draft, then you're in the right place. Today, we're doing a quick module highlight of Monk's Common Display. If you watched our recent one-shot video called Ghosts Among the Ice, and you've seen how we moved throughout the different caves, like on this cave map right here, and how the camera tracked and followed the different party members as they moved around throughout it and throughout combat, this is exactly how we did it. We used Monk's incredible common display module, which is a really simple and lightweight way to handle camera movement in your games if you're streaming or if you're wanting to capture recordings for other purposes like videos, or if you want to have your maps and images displayed in person at the table on a projector or other screen device. It's a really simple and easy to use module, and we're gonna dive into all of the things you need to know to get started with it, and see a couple different use cases. So to get started, Monk's Common Display adds this really nice little widget here that controls all of the different aspects of it. Then if you right click on a player, you can hit show as common display, which will give a projector image. And here we can see this player's view. You'll notice that all of the UI elements are gone and it's a more simplified version so that it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye if you're displaying it to other people, etc. Returning to our GM screen, our primary controls are screen and vision. Clicking on the buttons turns them active and there's a few options for each of those. Screen is showing where the camera is going to be focused. You've got GM, combatant, party, and select a token. So you're gonna follow your GM screen, the current up player, or a selected token respectively. Then in vision, that's gonna control what kind of vision the common display gets to see. In order to use that feature, you need to make sure that whatever your common display character is, in this case, table, has ownership permissions of each of these tokens. It works off of selection and you have to own a token in order to select it. With that overview out of the way, I'm gonna switch my displays here for a demonstration. So the common display is the large screen here, and the GM screen is going to be up in the top left. Some of this might be a little choppier because I'm recording two instances of Foundry, but you'll be able to see the applications here. Right now I have the screen set to GM, and you can see that the common display is mirroring all of my camera movements. Great for direct control. If we switch to the party view, this is going to try to keep all of the player characters in frame. So you can see when I move the fighter over here, it's going to automatically pan out in order to keep everyone in the frame and it will zoom back in to a certain threshold here. And this is really great if you've got a lot of people running around or it's a pretty hectic combat that you want to have a wide lens on. Speaking of combat, we'll go ahead and get all of these actors added to the combat tracker. And we'll roll initiative and we'll see that the common display does get all of the chat information you can change that in the settings later. You'll also want to note that if you have something like Monk's Little Details that is going to display your turn is up, you may want to change those settings if you don't want the common display to also display them. Switching to the combatant view means the camera is going to pan around and follow each of the combatants in turn within the combat. So it's pretty self-explanatory and makes it really nice and easy to follow whose turn it is and what's going on on your common display. We can also use the vision to mimic whoever the current combatant is. As you can see, this character has dark vision. Some of the great features here are you can clear journals and images for any time that you want to share a journal or an image with your players, but you don't want to stay on the common display forever or you don't have someone also running that account. Once we show the journal in our normal way, whenever we're done with it, we can click this clear journals and clear images, and that will get rid of it on the common display. So again, clicking clear journals, when we return, the common display does not have that journal shown anymore, which you'll need to do if you're having this display just set up separately. And of course you can do the exact same thing with images. So we're showing this picture and then we can clear it with that clear images button. In terms of settings for Monk's Common Display, there's not too many. Configure Common Display is what allows you to set who the exact Common Display is. You can also set that for multiple people. 
Setting per scene allows you to have different screen and vision settings on each scene rather than having a global setting that persists through screens. Allow GM players lets you pick GM players to be the common display. Show chat log and show camera views and show combat are all pretty self-explanatory. They just show their respective pieces. Camera views being if you're using Foundry's built-in AV. Show combatants allows you to see what combatants are in the lists and you can adjust things like the number of combatants shown and also how long any pop-ups such as dialogue boxes stay up. But that won't affect notifications like those your turn is up notification bars up at the top. For your common display, you just want to make sure you set up a new player that is going to have ownership permissions of all the tokens that you want to control vision for. And once you have that set up, you just set that as your common display and log it in as a, another player and you're good to go. The final type of screen and vision control is selecting a specific token. So on the screen and vision, you can right click and do select a token. It's important that you don't already have a token selected when you do this. Um, so you'll want to deselect if you're also doing that to vision. You'll see as I struggle here a little bit, but basically I'm setting it up so that the common display is going to follow just this one character's perspective as they move about the map. It's also worth noting that common display will respect the hidden setting. And so once we hide those drawings, they disappear. To close things out, we're just going to take a tour of these Elvish maps from our latest release. And you can see Gomer walking around through them. So we really like Monk's Common Display for its ease of use. This is very quick to get going with right out of the box. There are a lot of alternatives, but this is a perfect solution for recording content, streaming, or providing some form of common display either at the table or over Zoom for your players that may not have computers powerful enough for Foundry, but still want to be able to see all of the action. So I want to thank you so much for watching. In the comments, let me know if you have any other questions about Monk's Common Display and where you think you might use this. Once again, this has been Zephyr with the Bailey Wiki channel. Thanks so much for watching, happy gaming, and have a good one.